Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for technical and vocational schools. It is unit seven, lesson two, direct and indirect objects. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, project, success two, student's book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. All right. So lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the direct and indirect objects in writing sentences. So what are direct and indirect objects? Let me show you with an example. He bought his mother a gift. He bought his mother a gift. Within this sentence, we have an indirect and direct objects. Let me show you another one. Basim showed the teacher his homework. This sentence also has a direct and indirect object. Yasmin kicked the ball to me. The same thing. Now, direct objects are nouns or pronouns receiving the action, while the indirect objects are the nouns or pronouns affected by the action. So let's check the direct objects. Direct objects, as we said, are nouns or pronouns receiving the action. So I bought a gift. Okay, so gift received the action of buying. Also, his homework. So his homework received the action of showing. The ball received the action of kicking. Indirect objects are nouns or pronouns affected by the action. So. His mother is affected by buying of the gift. The teacher is affected by showing of the homework. And the ball is affected by being kicked. Uh, sorry, to me, is affected by being kicked uh, the ball to me. All right, direct and indirect objects. This time, I'm going to start with the indirect. So how to form the sentence? I start with the subject plus a verb plus an indirect object, plus a direct object. Let me show you. Subject, like Majid, told, this is a verb, me, indirect object, a story. So, Majid told me a story. Me is an indirect object, a story is a direct object. Let me show you another one. My friend gave his brother, a pencil. So, subject is my friend, verb is gave, indirect object, his brother, direct object, a pencil. A third example. Her teacher taught the class the lesson. So, her teacher taught the class the lesson. Fourth one, she is going to buy, all of this is a verb, him, the book. She's going to buy him a book. So, take a look at these. If I remove the indirect object like this, you see that these sentences are perfectly fine. Let me read them. Magic told the story. We just have one object, which is direct. My friend gave a pencil, direct. Her teacher taught the lesson. She's going to buy the book. But we add, we add the indirect object to further explain the sentence. All right, let's have a quick task. Write T if the sentence is correct or F if it's false. And I have a mark of three. Number one, the lady passed her friend a note. If this sentence is correct, circle T. If it's false, circle F. And you have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is true. The lady passed her friend a note. Let's check another one. Two, the driver showed the police his card. Five seconds. Let's take a look. True, the driver showed the police his card. Number three. His mother bought a phone him. If it's true, 
circle T, if it's false, circle F. Five seconds. Let's check. It is false. And the right answer should be, his mother bought him a phone. Bought him a phone. You cannot switch direct and indirect objects like the, the example. Now, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Now, I'm going to explain how to write a direct and indirect object, but starting with the direct. So, we start with the subject, a verb, a direct object. Now I switched, plus a preposition, a preposition, like two, four. Indirect object. Okay, let's see how the examples are. Majid told a story, you see? I started with the story now. To me. Now, I needed a preposition to switch them, okay? Majid told a story to me. Now I started with the direct object. Let's check the other example. My friend gave a pencil to his brother. My friend gave a pencil to his brother. I needed the, uh, pr the proposition to, to make the sentence correct. Her teacher explained the lesson to the class. As you notice, I changed, I had to change taught to explain in order for me to uh, switch between the direct and indirect objects. She is going to buy the book for him. Now I change two to four because buy and you can say with four. Now if I omit the indirect object just like before, all sentences are correct. Let's check. Majid told the story, full stop. My friend gave a pencil, full stop. Her teacher explained the lesson, full stop. She's going to buy the book, full stop. All right, so we do not need to have the indirect objects, but having them will explain the sentences more. Let's have a task. Write T if the sentence is correct, or F if it's false and you have a mark of three. Number one, the children handed the ball their dad. If it's true, circle two, uh, T. If it's false, circle F. You have five seconds. Let's check the answer. It is F. Now, why is that? Ah, you needed the preposition. The children handed the ball to their dad. Number two, the boss sent her to a letter. You have five seconds. Let's check. F, the right answer is we have to eliminate two. Her boss sent her a letter. Her boss sent her a letter. All right, three, he's going to buy a doll for his daughter. Five seconds. Let's check the answer. Ah, it is true, it is true. Now, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following. A, put the words in the correct order to make sentences. And you have a mark of four. The first one, his friend, a cupcake, brought Ali four. Your task is to re reorder these words to make a perfect sentence. Like this one. Ali brought a cupcake for his friend. And if you notice, I started with the subject, Ali. That will make things easier for you. Now, you have number two, three, four, and five. And you have three minutes to do them.
All right, now let's check the model answer. Number two, Amina explained it to her coworker. Three, Sarah will give them directions. Four, he wants to buy her dinner. Five, he handed it to the woman. All right, that's number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question, rewrite the sentences switching the order of the direct and indirect objects. You have a mark of eight. Number one, the caterers served refresh refreshments to them. Two, Amina showed the program to him. Three, she sent him an email. Four, the student brought her the information. And you have three minutes to switch between direct and indirect objects. All right, now let's check the answers. But before that, you need to use the self-correcting tools. As you have finished, after you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now, let's check the model answer. Number one, the caterers served them refreshments. Number two, Amina showed him the program. Number three, she sent an email to him. Number four, the student brought the information to her. Well done. 
give yourself a tap on the back and two marks for finishing the lesson, then calculate your mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Number one, now you are able to use the direct and indirect objects in sentences, and you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 50 marks or more, then go over parts that you failed in the lesson and redo it. If you have 75% or lower than that, that means uh, 15 marks or lower, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck, thank you for your attention.